Good morning, everyone. My name is Austin Allaire, and I'm studying the MSc International Management. Hi, I'm Myra Jahangir, and I'm currently enrolled in the MSc Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Management program. Hi, everyone. I just woke up. It's 7 in the morning right now, and uh, I haven't even opened my blinds yet. Today, I'm going to take you on a day in the life of a student doing remote learning at Imperial College Business School. So my day typically begins at around 7 a.m. when I get up and the first thing I do is like to go for a quick jog or do some form of exercise to keep me active physically. I like to wake up a little early because I talk to my mom in the morning who is in a different time zone. I will fix myself something to eat because three hours lecture I might get hungry in between. Before we begin, we must start with a little cup of tea. So let's go get that and then we'll get started. Oh my god, okay. My day looks very packed. I have two lectures and a coursework meeting group. So I start at 9 and pretty much get done by 7. All right, now that we have our cup of tea, we can settle in for a little bit of individual study time this morning. Um, first, I'm going to show you guys just a little bit about my workspace and then also some of the materials that we use on a daily basis uh, here at Imperial. As you can see, it's pretty empty, but that's not because I'm not doing any work. It's just that it helps me focus a lot more if I have my space a lot more clear. So this is my workspace here. I live in a student accommodation here in London. So before I begin my lecture, I am going to quickly have my material in hand so that I can take notes and I'm going to do that from the hub. The hub is your one-stop shop for everything that you need for uh, learning and for remote learning here at Imperial. My first lecture is real estate investments and well, my material is right here. I can see, um, especially for this module, Leading Social Innovation, which is what I'm working on, I can see what my progress is like compared to the class's progress, and I can even have some notifications from my professor in case there is anything need to be done. So I have just finished my lecture one for the day in real estate and uh, well it was super interesting and very interactive. We did various activities on Zoom, breakout rooms and polls and uh, learned a lot out of it. It's time to settle in this afternoon for a live class session held on Zoom. Um, this is actually a class called Future of Cities, which was supposed to take place in New York City, and obviously that's not possible. But one thing that is possible is to continue taking this class um, in a remote environment. This afternoon's class, we have a guest uh, speaker coming in who's in charge of the Smart City initiatives here in London, and I'm really looking forward uh, to hearing what he has to say. So it's already 4.45 now, and that means it's time to connect with my team for the group coursework. Uh, we make it a point to connect with each other for at least 15 minutes daily to update each other on how we are progressing with our parts. So I've just finished both my lectures for the day and I'm about to get on a Zoom call with my coursework peers because we are planning of running through the presentation before we present it day after. It's already been a very full day of studying and live class sessions, but there is one more thing that we're going to do this evening that I am really excited about. We're hopping onto a celebratory Zoom call for the Dean's Student Advisory Council. We advise the Dean and the Associate Deans on various uh, exciting initiatives going on at the business school. First message is really one of, of really a heartfelt thank you to, to all of you for the you know incredible work that has been going on. That was my day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you. Bye.